So today we will talk about the different foramen and fossas and fissures of the skull of ox. So starting with incisive fissure, this is the incisive fissure. These two are the palatine fissures, palatine fissures. Then infraorbital foramen, infraorbital foramen. Then maxillary hiatus. So this part is the maxillary hiatus. And this is the posterior palatine foramen, then maxillary foramen, then this is the sphenopalatine foramen. After that, okay, again I'll revise this maxillary hiatus. This is the posterior palatine foramen, this is the maxillary foramen, this is the sphenopalatine foramen. Then, lacrimal. Fossa. This is the lacrimal fossa. This one lacrimal fossa. Then hypoglossal foramen. So this one, if you can see this one. Okay, so this one is the hypoglossal foramen. This one. Okay, then after hypoglossal foramen, condyloid fossa is the part in between these two. This one, condyloid fossa. Then foramen magnum is the largest foramen. This one. Okay, foramen magnum. Then foramen ovale, that is oval shaped foramen. This one, these two are the foramen ovale. Okay foramen ovale optic foramen so this foramen right here is the optic foramen after optic foramen foramen lacerum is in between these two parts there is a small foramen that is foramen lacerum after foramen lacerum we will talk about mastoid foramen so this and this are the mastoid foramen mastoid foramen then talking about mandible we'll talk about the mandible these two are the mandibular foramen mandibular foramen then this in between the two rami of mandible this part is the mandibular fossa mandibular fossa and this is the mental foramen mental foramen both the sides mental foramen